So this has spoilers. So this is this is purely for people who've already watched it or do not intend to and don't care. <clears throat> yes, the film is basically Dances with Wolves, just you know, bigger, more epic, and prettier, so to speak. But I don't, I don't really see a problem with that. It's um, I know it hasn't even been 20 years since that movie, but it's really well done. It's, um, you know, it's, and it's, it's entertaining. It doesn't miss the point. It's not like it just, you know, it's, it's James Cameron. He, he gets the point and he integrates it well into the film. It, it doesn't feel like suddenly, okay, maybe in the abyss, I'll grant you that one it does kind of end with, you know, okay, now you've watched the movie, here's the moral lesson. But apart from that, he makes it part of it, and that that is also true here. It, it can be said that it's it's very black and white, and it's... Uh, Rabisi is completely wasted. It just... The guy's got so much talent, and he just... He just has to be the, the smarmy imperialist, capitalist, jerk, you know, that, but, you know, <clears throat> the, the villains really don't get to have any kind of, I, I don't know, I, I guess that he just didn't want to risk that anybody sided with them, and you, you yeah, I, I don't see how you could anyway, um, not the way they're being presented in the film. Um, I, th I think the the whole conflict between, you know, nature, organic kind of thing, and technological, electronic that that was very well done. And um, I liked once they got into some guerrilla warfare, guerrilla guerrilla warfare, with you know, um, the Sam Worthington in the Nari body up on the um, the big uh, planes, the military planes, and you know throwing grenades into the engines. And that was you know you were just cheering for him, and that was spot on. Stephen Lang, I think it was, made for a very good like main villain sort of thing, and. You know, you, you could tell immediately that you were supposed to despise him, but... Almost immediately, anyway. He he did well. He, you know, and, and the final squaring off between him and and Worthington, that was excellent. And, um, in, in general, the action, it's fantastic. Um, all the, the fights and the, the massive battle scene, fantastic. I... I don't remember when I've last seen a, a battle scene, a war sequence that, to that extent, had me engaged and really, really excited at, um, at what I was seeing. I thought the stuff about the primitive religion was very good, very well thought out, and it, you know, I it it felt real. It felt natural. It. Um, you know, it, it seemed like the way that uh, people like that would be. Um, and uh, I thought that you could relate to it as, um, you know, it, it's very reminiscent of, you know, um, the, the, like, tribal religions and the Greenlandic lore. Um, so... I, I thought that was very well done, and it, it fit well, um, the, and the, the, the landscape and the creatures, everything fantastic and well designed. Um, it, it was a little interesting that the military stuff seemed a lot like, I mean, from the moment I saw it in the trailers, I thought, aliens. Totally, you know, and the, you know, it it looked like dropships and 
the we, I, I guess the aliens didn't have the big uh, walking mech thing, but you know those look very uh, Matrix Revolutions. But yeah, you know, there's if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, the 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 Nari, I I thought it it was it's interesting to note how similar to humans. I mean, they're like maybe twice as tall and you know big. And their nose is like kind of flat-ish, um, and there's of course the blue skin, the tail, the the long ponytail kind of that hooks up with various but apart from that they look a lot like human beings and I think that was a very conscious decision to not allow us to distance ourselves that much from them um, and there was a lot of humanity in those eyes that um, and that worked very well um, you know it's um, they they never felt that far from us um, and um, you know that that was the intention I it um, you're always supposed to be able to see them as almost human almost like us Michelle Rodriguez doesn't have terribly that much of a part and for a while I was actually thinking that you know you could cut her out of the film and it wouldn't make a difference um, you know for a while all she does is you know speak lines very reminiscent of in the pipe five by five and stuff like that but then she does start to get you know more of a role uh, an active role in the um, in the overall um, happenings and I think it would have helped if she had been more developed because it really was kind of suddenly she was just you know, it starts with her running up to them and saying, and warning uh, the, the science crew about that uh, there's going to be the bombing. And then she doesn't fire. And then she flies back. I didn't quite get why she wasn't punished or in some way, because she wasn't the only person on that plane. There was at least the guy with the, the gun uh, who was, you know, complaining that he didn't get to fire. It also, at a point, seemed like there was going to be more of a conflict between the main warrior guy, Su Chick, something, and uh, Worthington. It, it um, you know, and with the whole have you mated with him thing, um, but, you know, I, th I think it does work that there isn't, um, because he was, it was more important that he eventually does accept him, and um, you know when when he comes in, you know Turok Makto, that was um, also a very good. Um, and and before anybody starts bitching about, you know, oh that only worked because they're you know uh, primitive and naive. No, there's stuff like that in every single culture. Think about it. There is. Any, any culture has something where someone can enter and be phenomenal at something and then people will start to be more accepting of them. It, it really had an impact when he died too and um, and also when you know um, in, in general when the Nari died you actually you, you felt it, you felt sympathy for them and, and the loss of the, the tree the whole, th it, it really, it, it had an impact on the audience. Um, I, I do think that there was, un until, I don't know, maybe halfway through, maybe even more of the film, it's not actually addressed what happens if, like, the link is broken um, between, because when they first lose Sam,